What's going on about this Switch? to rumor well about a year and a half ago whenever the switch pro rumors were really going all over the place there was talks about a new nvidia system on a chip potentially coming out and the idea was that this was going to be what was included in the new switch essentially make it on par with a playstation 4. And those rumors have resurfaced again alongside the recent nvidia announcement supposedly an employee for an nvidia kind of confirmed the existence of this nvidia tegra 2309 system on a chip that's been talked about on linux kernel mailing list and the idea is, is that this is going to be coming out again within the next year. Now, what makes this potentially more feasible than past discussions? Well, in a conversation with ex-North America president of Nintendo, Reggie fils -Ami, one of the things he ultimately said is, listen, it's really hard to have a next generation system that is following in the footsteps of an extremely successful console to do just as well as that last console. He calls out two examples of this in history. One being whenever Nintendo went from the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance to the Nintendo DS. It was very successful. People, people were happy with that transformation. The other example is when PlayStation went from the PlayStation 1 to the PlayStation 2. Again, another situation where there was a lot of success. But I think if we go back and we, we look in history, you know, the Xbox 360 was the dominant player, but the Xbox One, not so much, right? So there's a lot of things to consider. But even with that, what I think is interesting about those two consoles he mentioned, PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo DS, both launched with backwards compatibility, from what I remember. At least the DS had Game Boy Advance backwards compatibility, and the PlayStation 2 played a lot of PlayStation 1 games as well. So, why is that something to think about? Well, for the most part, if a Switch 2 launches with a lot of the same architecture, which it seems to be, if it's running off a similar system of a chip, if it's just more powerful, you might actually see a lot of options of that previous Switch library open to you to the new Switch. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if most of it is there, if, if it, given some rare circumstances where maybe some type of network feature isn't supported, therefore the game doesn't work or something like that. One of the other things Reggie also said, which is critical, is you have to have the pipeline of content to make it something attractive, right? What did the Nintendo Switch launch with? Breath of the Wild. Now, Breath of the Wild also launched on the Nintendo Wii U. And the rumors in some of these discussions is that within the first six months of 2023, you might get this new system. So what's coming out in May? Tears of the Kingdom, the sequel to Breath of the Wild. What's also been kind of quiet, but we know it's coming. Metroid Prime 4. We also know that the team that made Super Mario Odyssey is potentially working on a sequel for that and also on some type of Donkey Kong game as well. So there is a chance that the new Switch come next spring summer could be launching with a lot of content that we know is coming and that we expect to be there as well. So curious what you guys think about that. Are you excited? Does this launch at a similar price point? I don't know. Given the certain supply restraints in the economy at the moment and other hardware makers using it as a time to increase their price, I wouldn't be surprised if the new console may be launched for about $50 more. But all in all, might be worth it. Now, will it be as successful? I don't know. I would say it really depends on how well the marketing is, how well the console is able to support the past generation. Because if you're making it one of those things where I've yet to buy a Switch, but if I buy this new one, I get myself open to play everything in the past. It's not a hard decision. But if I'm going to have to double down on two different consoles to play two different Nintendo libraries, then it's a different type of question. So curious again what you guys think. I'm excited about this. I think, again, one of the rumors is potentially 4K while docked doesn't really you know, speak to me. I care more about games like the new Zelda running as smoothly as possible and seeing Breath of the Wild in a faster frame rate. But again, excited about that. Wanted to share with you all. Again, hope you enjoy.